Today, I sound reassuring. You're in a very safe place here. I give stuff away. Oh, and stick around for a giveaway at the end. And baby shampoo reminds me of something. Ugh, reminds me of daycare. As a kid, as a kid. What's good, it's the Hunter off the back with insane content! In this video, we expose the flaw of the BMW M2. BMW M2 exposed. And if we don't interfere, the car ends up scratching itself. So let's see what we can do. Oh, and stick around for a giveaway at the end. So tell me, why do you scratch yourself? You're in a very safe place here. I just, I just can't help it. I think it's the fault of my makers. I see, I see. Well, I've got a lot of experience with people with similar issues. I know my way around them. I think I've got exactly what you need. All right, so what's the issue here? So on the BMW M2, but also on the 2 Series, the seal of the door is attached to the door. And while the door is closing, that seal of the door slightly rubs against the side of the door jam before being fully closed. And that slight rub is what causes scratches over time, as you can see here and here. So the solution to this issue, I mean trauma, is PPF. So MD Calstore was kind enough to send me a set of these. So this is a set of protective films cut out exactly for the M2 and the 2 series to cover the areas that are scratched on the door jams. So before applying these, we would first need to remove the scratches on the door jams. So let's dive right into it! All right, so the car is already relatively clean, but we're gonna go ahead and use some water and soap to give this a quick clean. So then with a detailer spray and a piece of clay bar, we're going to treat these scratched surfaces. Then we're going to thoroughly dry it. And then with a light cutting compound and a polishing machine, we're going to go ahead and treat the area. And then we're going to finish it off with some finishing compound by hand. Thanks all here for this. All right, and that's a job well done. So let's continue with the installation process. All right, so step one is to clean the area of application thoroughly. Well, we obviously did that just now. So the next step would be to thoroughly check surfaces and edges for residues of preservative wax or polishing agents and remove them with industrial cleaning agents. Well, that's pretty industrial. So then it says the application area must be cleaned with isopropanol, which is this terrible tasting stuff. Then thoroughly dry the vehicle. So then for the wet application, spray the open adhesive side and the surface to be covered with the film with low surface tension water. That's water plus a few drops of baby shampoo. So here's our lukewarm water with baby shampoo. Ugh. Reminds me of daycare. As a kid, as a kid. So then we're gonna get our protective film and carefully pry one off. And spray it down. And because we're doing wet application, you can slide it around a bit, so that makes it easier. So you can either use a squidgy or another rectangular object or simply use your fingers. So there we have it. So in the instructions it says that any cloudiness of the adhesive developing after the application usually disappears after three to five days. Depending on the temperature and relative humidity, this process can take up to two weeks. 
Well, as the ambient temperature and relative humidity are in perfect order here, I wouldn't foresee any further issues. So let me show you the results up close. Here's a discount code for you guys. Also check out F87 source review of this product. Link in the description. All right, guys, that was it. I want to thank Terry from MDCal store for hooking me up with the set. I'll put all his information in the description below, so go check him out. We're also doing a small giveaway of a set along with the Hunter Hoffman keychain. If you want to participate, simply leave a comment down below and I'll be randomly selecting one within two weeks after posting this video. Guys, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time! Then with this detailer... So then with this detailer spray and a piece of clay bar, we're gonna... So then with... Get on a... Oh no!